Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new planet today with a game called Battle Ride, which is made by Stunlock Studios, the creators of Bloodline Champions. Now if you don't remember Bloodline Champions back in its day, it was seen as sort of the, well, I wouldn't call it the anti-MOBA, but the, the MOBA for people that didn't like MOBAs because they thought MOBAs were kind of too simple because everything was auto attack based and click on the screen and bam you get everything with an AoE effect that just kills everything inside and it was a game focused more on, on skill, on actual aiming of every skill you had. There was no auto attack in that game, everything was done directly by you, the movement was done directly by you, everything was sort of... if someone managed to cram um, something like Quake 3 or on a tournament into a MOBA. Only it wasn't a MOBA because uh, I, I don't remember if in the initial version, I don't think there were any creeps. You pr pretty much just had that, that match or team that match where you and uh, some other players would be crammed to an arena and you would fight each other with different abilities and the last one standing wins for the team. Something like that. It's it's a different kind of game. And Battle Right is sort of in the same vein of it, only it uh, does feature something extra in the uh, Battlegrounds mode, where you actually do have uh, objectives, quests you have to com complete, and uh, different objectives, and there are some creeps uh, now and then. Uh, before I get into the actual game, I would like to first um, bemoan the death of, of graphics, of, of graphic styles, I mean. Everything in this game from... From the font chosen for the logo, to the way the characters look, to pretty much everything is... How should I put this? It looks a heck of a lot like every other game of this type in the past couple of years. One especially, or one company's especially. For example, it looks a bit kind of... I don't know. Does it, does it seem like it's reminding you of something here like of two somethings here or maybe just why is everybody copying Blizzard? Okay, I get it. They're popular. And it was funny when when King's Bounty did it and it sort of looked like like uh, Warcraft but it wasn't as exaggerated. Like it didn't have giant spiky things coming out of it and it was kind of fun and then League of Legends kind of did it too and this is a mishmash of everything. It's people there are more art styles out there make your own or at least bring back one of the old the discarded ones bring back the old old heroes of might and magic arts i'll remember that one or the, the the might and magic one where you had we had gnome vampires and they were awesome but yeah uh, i'm gonna start out with um oh this game is you by the way did not mention this uh, uh bloodline champions is also free it wasn't free in the old days as i remember i think but because it's a free game, I have to start with uh, with the obligatory um, opening of the chests. Uh, the developers were kind enough to actually gi give us a key that unlocks every character, so I'm gonna take a look at the characters uh, when I'm finished with the uh, unboxings. But first, let's let's. Oh, I don't. I thought I got one of these for free. No, I did. I did. I got one of these for free when I level up. And inside we have these. Um, these rhombuses and this one's blue so it must be awesome i got a boop the bird blossom i really regret playing this game we have a common avatar we have a another common avatar which is a um i'm gonna equip it it's it's the only logical thing i can think of let's open these up as well we have, ooh, this one's a purple, this is gonna be even more awesome. An epic mount, a black seed, because you do have mounts in this game, it's... In terms of its basic mechanics, you can think of it a bit like Bloodline Champions, that had a bit of, uh, Heroes of New... not Heroes of New York, uh, the, the Blizzard one, the Blizzard Dota. Heroes of the Storm was spr sprinkled all over it. 500 tokens, which I don't know what they're gonna be used for. A rare pose with the uh, Pixie Dust Paloma. Let's equip that. Probably have the hero. I think I have all of them. I'm, like I said, the developers were kind enough to actually give us one of the uh, the keys for most of the heroes, I think. Oh, well, it's your outfit for you. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be... Uh, why can't I equip this? That's strange. And another one. And another one. I have so many jades. Let's pick the uh, this one, the red one. 
And now we have all the other chests. I'll unlock one legendary outfit to complete it. Yes, I had an achievement. And you can buy all sorts of chests with different colors and they'll give you a lot of stuff. And um, this costs 950 of those coins. I don't have any, so I, I won't actually bother with it. I'm going to show you the characters first because you do have quite a lot of them. The champions. This guy, I swear, is from Bloodline Champions. Technically, I think a lot of them may be from Bloodline Champions. I haven't played that game in quite a while, but this guy is in the logo of the game. He is in the, the banner for it, even on Steam. I've played mostly with Freya and Jade up until now, so I have most experience with them. So that's what I'm probably going to be playing with in, in the game. The thing I want to highlight about this game is that you have um, kind of different abilities. Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you have a lot of different abilities, but they also have alternate forms. For example, your, le your left click, this is going to be your main attack. This is going to be your sort of... If you're familiar with uh, with what um, City of Heroes and the champions of uh, whatchamacallit, the other one that was with superheroes, you have your basic attack that sort of charges your... Your rest, it's what Diablo 3 has, I know. It's what Diablo 3 uses for rage. Your basic attack will charge your... Uh, energy that can be used to deploy stronger attacks and the right click doesn't actually consume that energy it just it usually is a, a, a longer range or a stun based or something other to add your character even the melee characters have sometimes a range attack on their uh, on the right click and then you have your uh, escape move this lets you transform into fire and teleport to location and deal the damage but if you press shift and you have two energy bars you can um, you can also uh, your fireball hit hit heals you for 15 health, so you get an extra effect, an initial effect, a different effect. For example, this is Flame Strike, engulfs an area in uh, flames, dealing 20 damage and stunning enemies. Uh, you also have, uh, I'm gonna get to the, the second part soon, and if you use it with shift, it turns into molten chains that gives rise to a lava stream infl inflicting petrified. So this this doesn't just enhance, this is a different ability. And you can uh, customize them further because you can see again there's the um, there's a writing here, a snare, ignite. This writing comes from the loadouts. Now the default loadout will give you some uh, general idea of how your character can look like. And you can modify these, you can change them by adding a new uh, loadout that lets you add one of those effects, one of those highlights under them. For example, you can increase um, the burning, you can add burning feet to your space ability, to your uh, mobility. This will make you move faster. You can add fire ward, which grants a fire shield. To this you can add the um, flame strike now heals. You can, you can make flame strike heal. You can make flame strike have um, the increased cooldown of the more radius and the reduced cooldown, you can modify pretty much all of your abilities and you can pick and choose each one of these and have different loadouts for your game. This is sort of what uh, Heroes of the Storm does with its leveling up system, uh, but because here you do not level up, you have to choose those in the uh, loadouts that you predefine so that within battle, when you see what you're up against, what your opponents are, you can choose one of those loadouts. You cannot change it after that. Let's have the outfits, like I mentioned. Let's uh, let's go back to to Jade. I think yeah, Jade because we had an outfit for her. Gunslinger. Eh. Ah, she didn't go with this one. Looks a bit better. Also, you also have weapon skins, which of course you do. The poses, because of course you do. Let's see what's her. Um, is she enter self and gain uh, fading haste. Grants shield to all bind. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, fire piercing bullet that inflicts root. Her normal attack would inflict stun, but this is uh, this is instantaneous. Well, it's it's not as it doesn't take one second to actually cast, and can be well can be used a bit faster. But that's the core idea of the game. So now I'm gonna get into. Um, let's try and cure for a battlegrounds. Yeah, with Freya, I think. Freya's the uh, the other character I have. Um, I played a bit, a bit, but she's basically a combination of uh, Sonia from uh, Heroes of the Storm and uh, Muradin Bronzebeard. She, she's got, instead of axes, she has hammers, she pulls people towards her, she jumps on their heads, it's that kind of character. And you have quite a lot of them. Actually, I wanted, uh, first I should have actually showed you all the characters. We've got Rook, who's a hungering berserker, we've got... Uh, Rukan, which is a crypt weaver. They all have 
Shifu, this guy is kind of annoying, the spear. The Banco guy that looks like he looks he looks like Brom had an accident with with a uh, orcish uh, tower from uh, World of Warcraft from Warcraft. You got Thorn, Crook, Freya, Raigon, Jade, Ashka, Varish. Varish sort of looks like something out of League of Legends a bit. Also Warcraft because it's oh I think I selected that guy didn't I? I'm gonna be playing as Varish, aren't I? I think I am. Uh, this, this cinematic... Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> it's still selected, this one. Before the game starts, you actually get to practice your abilities and skills with, uh, with the dummies. You can even see. This is the shift version. In five seconds, I'm going to show you the non-shift version. This is snails. You don't pick your heroes before the... Um, before the match picking, which may make... Uh, okay, pick the default on my mistake. Yeah, let's pick up with the default. You don't pick your characters before the match picking, so you have no idea who you're gonna be who you're gonna be paired with. At best, you can hope that you will be paired with someone that complements your abilities, and generally you are. I mean, I, there hasn't been one game where I haven't been paired with someone that has range attack. And now we're just waiting for this to finish loading, and um, everybody get ready, and then we'll be moved up. I believe this is the elevator. There's one where you are moved to the side. And in this area, we are going to have to um, sort of protect one of our guardians and kill theirs while strengthening our guardians by um, doing all sorts of quests and completing objectives like kill a certain number of enemies or capture a point. It's sort of like a bunch of Heroes of the Storm maps all glued onto each other in the sense that they don't, don't have just one objective that you have to do to uh, increase the power of your character, of your, of your, not a, not character, your, um, your, your, uh, big guardian thing, your, your thingamabob, your, your, your MacGuffin, not MacGuffin, your, your objective, your, the guy you're trying to beef up. Come on already, start, everybody click start. So you're fighting against this guy. This guy is small and annoying. We've got another Jade and this is uh is this a spear guy? Uh beta tester, contender, what am I? I'm a contender. I cannot tell which character this is by the, the avatar yet. I've Yep, the, the elevator is starting. You have mounts mounts too because uh, some of these maps can be big. The um the direct team deathmatch ones are incredibly small. Like you do not need to bother with um I'm gonna try and do a, one of those matches then. You also have grass, to which you can hide, and you also have uh, pickups of. Uh, okay, uh, brawlers. There's an enemy here. You just pass them. Oh, okay. Okay, I just use my Q, which is my counter, meaning that if I get struck while I'm in counter mode, they all take damage. I'm gonna try to retreat them because they are actually quite, quite very annoying when there there's more of them. And see, that guy can turn invisible, that guy is annoying. Come on, hit me, hit me. Okay, my semi ultimate is almost ready, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and build up to my ultimate ultimate. And I got petrified, which is not a good sign. Okay, I jumped backwards instead of forwards, which is a bad idea. And I get killed. Yeah, you can absolutely die in this area. You are not healed in this area, you're healed in this area. Good thing is, I actually um, kept my energy so I can better use it. The bad part is that their guy is being buffed right now. Ours isn't. Okay, he entered counter too, just as I did. Okay, ultimate ready. I'm gonna try and... Oh, okay, press start by mistake. My ultimate is F. One of the advantages of this game is that... Uh, Ah, oh, damn it. Is that there are kind of a lot of keys. I mean, a lot of them. And they can be confusing at the point. Like, you'll want to maneuver to a certain area. Uh, I press R again. I'm used from other games for the ultimate to be on R and I'm I'm venomed. Ah, uh, damn it. Um, you can't press you can press A to go, you know, to, to the left and Q at the same time because uh, you don't have enough fingers in that area. Okay, we're currently uh, 2 minutes remaining. We are 50%, I believe. We may actually be able to take this. I missed that guy completely. Come on. Yes, do it, do it, do it. Where did he go? Ah, she can turn invisible. I forgot she can turn invisible. She can absolutely turn invisible. I should probably not be here because I'm... 
Not in a good position. Okay, I'm not alone anymore. Not alone. Uh, maybe I can at least kill... Yeah, I think she's dead. She is dead. Double dog dead. Come on, I can do my ultimate now. Okay, he moved away. I think one of their guys quit. That's why they were so... Uh, doing so I pressed the thing again. F. Gotta remember, it's F. It's not R, it's F. Come on, come on, come on. Actually, I can do this too. Ah, come on. Okay, I did it. Okay, he's doing his ultimate, which is not a good thing. Okay, hit him. Okay, press, this time I pressed R by... Uh, intentionally, so I could do the thing closer to him. Okay. That should do it. Uh, that should help. Come on. Get... Bent in the face, man. Bent in the face. I just need Q. I can't do my Q yet. Now I can. I pressed. Ah, did the wrong thing again. Also, I missed completely missed the event we are supposed to do. I just want to show you my ultimate, and I can't do it because I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, finally did it, and got it, guy. Killed him. Kill them dead. Now I have to defend our guy because while they're at uh, maximum health and stuff with their champion, our guy is vulnerable. So I'm gonna go back, uh, back here to heal and be ready to defend once they begin assaulting. Bam, bam. Okay, they're coming. Okay, they stun our guy. That's a bad sign when they stun your guy so easily. Uh, come on. Better fight. Okay, she pushed me back quite a lot. Oh, I was hoping she would um, hit me while I was in my counter mode. In your counter mode, you do get a bonus if you... I should probably defend this guy instead of going after her. Attack ended, meaning we are not dead yet. Oh, she did her ultimate. She unleashed her ultimate, so I died. Okay, the good part is our guy lived. He did take some damage. Did take quite a bit of damage, but he is alive. New event. Uh, we're gonna have an event soon. Okay, should probably be more careful because I'm alone. Defeat all minions. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. My, my counter expired. She silenced me. Okay, this this is a bad situation to be in. Uh, I'm gonna have to retreat and hopefully. Okay, we got we got some XP there. I don't know what. Should, ah, I think our guy got XP, our um, monster thing. Okay, damn it! I keep forgetting that space, space doesn't uh, space sort of dodges me backwards. Leap towards target location. Uh, yeah, I think space doesn't seem to be working properly, a lot of time. Okay, uh, we have to go get, go kill enemies, uh, minions. Maybe I can try and actually harass these guys a bit. So they won't be able to kill as many minions as they want to. Okay, this was maybe not the best of ideas. Okay, the shield will be down soon, so I come on, jump already. Rescue. I just want to get that guy. Okay, they got killed me with Venom. Killed me with Venom. And she's in stealth, good. Okay, we're gonna attack soon, so... I'm at full HP, I'm gonna go for the, for the kill. Gonna go attack. But one of our guys is dead. Which is not a good sign. Hopefully I can get there before they can actually see me. Attack the sides. And, okay, they actually kind of saw me there, which is not a good thing. Probably gonna die here, but I'm, I'm gonna try and do some damage at least. Ultimate ready. I am thunder, I am lightning, I am rage, I am the beast. I'm gonna do as much damage as I can and then run away because I'm probably gonna be... I'm gonna be dead. I'm dead. I did some damage though. Not as much as they did, but I did some damage. You can run back. Run away, run away, run away. And it's gonna go like this until we win. 
or until one of us loses. Balloon event. You also find the orbs, like I said, on the map. That will give you health and stuff. Uh, I don't know what exactly what this event is. I've never encountered it before. Oh, we have to escort the payload. See, it's it's every game mode wrapped up into one. Which is nice. So very nice. The enemy guardian is fully charged. Oh, cool. That's cool. Okay, I got that guy a bit. And I'm alone. And I'm gonna die. And I'm petrified. At first I was afraid though. Now I'm just petrified. Yeah, they won. I don't know what my guys were on slate. What were they doing? They weren't pushing it. They weren't defending either. I was alone versus two guys. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Like, our, we do not have a lot of power left. Defend in ten seconds. I should probably get a uh, ranged character next time. I'm not doing too well with this, this chick. Protect, 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 protect. Ah, she went invisible. She went invisible and dodged it. And she silenced me, and I'm gonna die. Come on, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, our guardian's gonna be dead. Our guardian's gonna be so dead. Okay, at least we got one of them. And that, I believe, gives us an attack boost. Let's chase them down a bit. New event's gonna start here, so I'm guessing it'll be something to do with the minions, maybe? Aha! Uh -huh. Didn't think that through, did you? I countered you! Uh, did it again. Did it again. I'm low. These guys do an incredible amount of damage. They they very well success very successfully managed to to attack me in groups like you should in this kind of game. You have to focus on the single character, but we can't seem to be able to communicate as well. Probably because I'm blabbering about and they're actually trying to play properly while I'm. Nope, no, that's not, not gonna work. Okay, I'm behind this. I got a sword. I would have got him. Where'd he go? He's got a shield. Uh, get back here. Okay, we got him. We got him. He's dead. And he's gonna kill me too. Come on, get back here. Come on, jump already. Yes! Gotta kill! Okay, he countered me too. We both counter each other. Gonna have to defend, so my best bet would be to probably run away. And get ready to defend that guy. Yep. My old one is ready. Or I could do something stupid. Like actually try and block this guy. And he's still there. Okay, they're here. I missed my ultimate. I press the wrong button again. At least maybe I can get him to attack. Nope, he was invisible. Invisibility is a problem in this game. Like, you do have a lot of invisible characters. Come on, snails, do something. Kill him. And we lost. Yeah, not my best moment. Not at all. In terms of damage, I think I kind of sucked. I actually dealt more damage than uh, well, I died the most. I only had three kills. Pass the trials. I, wow, our our range, our jade was horrible. Like their jade did four thousand damage. Ours did barely a thousand six hundred. Wow, that was that was horrible. Ooh, that's uh, that's kind of bad. Okay, protection. I did not do a lot. Disables. I tried my best. Damage. 2000. Eh, that wasn't the worst. Not the worst. I'm gonna play EJ next. In a uh, simple mode. In the uh, direct battle mode. So I can show you how that looks like. 
So let's pick Jade. I think the ones who did the thumbs up are free, uh, beginner friendly. Yeah, you know, that's that's what they mean. Not battleground, not that. Let's uh, league compete in intense rank games. No, uh, the modes can go to two v two v two or three v three. Also have the uh, versus AI mode and a training mode where you can play against a bunch of dummies. And I mean by dummies, I mean the actual the kind of dummies you beat up in the loading screen where they're just straw and wood, and then you have to wait for the loading time. All this is happening, I'm gonna try and show you more with characters. Uh, let's see, champions. We got a Lucy that throws poison around and heals. You can uh, petrify people if you want to. You've got Esmo, which is a little sort of dragon lizard thing with. A, I don't know if it's a lizard. It's it's had a tail, and he can do fire and brimstone and things and then economic and more destruction. We've got Iva, Jade, uh, Thorn, Taya. What does Taya do? I don't know. What's Taya with you? Taya has a boomerang, so this is basically Sivir from um, what you might call it from League of Legends. Tornado. Target ally will uh, is swept up into the air and becomes unhittable. Ally is tossed out of tornado one that so this is a uh, protection thing. Companion call. Your mouse rushes towards you and. <laughs> Okay, this would actually be fun. Okay, yeah, I, sh I should change my mount. Uh, where was it? Where was Jade? No, mounts, 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 mounts. Yeah, my mount. Where's my mount? We all. Black Steed equipped. Is this equipped? Can I? Is this how I equip them? Champion. Let's go back to Jade then. Poses no. Not a lot of people seem to be actually playing this mode. Or if they are a thing, maybe a lot of them are actually using J, so maybe that is why I'm not able to find a match while uh, having her select. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my character actually. Let's uh, let's pick something that's also range. Maybe the Silver Lady, Azimo, Iva. Uh... Yeah, let's pick this guy. Probably not a lot of people have him. So I may have better chances of uh, getting a game. I believe uh, the matchmaking is based on what around uh, on the idea that you can have multiples of the same character in the, in the game, on the same team. I mean, I believe so. I, I'm not sure if it's that that that's correct. This would probably gonna got a bit faster if I actually had teammates. I think. Like, how can I change your? Uh... No, not that. Oh, okay, you find a game. I want to change the mount to the black stallion. Like I said, this is where you start. This is where you find that, that big ball in the middle that gives you, I believe, some energy and uh, uh, some life back for your whole team. And you can also see the other things around. So let's uh, learn how to play this guy quickly. Okay, so you have three balls. This this is a laser you can charge and also... Uh... Come on, I want to see... Okay, this is the ball thing. And I can recast it once. Okay. Oh, so it also pulls you, pulls things towards you. Arcane barrier. This protects against front things. Shackles. Oh, root. Oh no, it started already. Uh, just me and this guy, and we're gonna have to learn what the others do. Okay, shackle does root. Uh, arcane ward. Shackle absorbs. And oh, I can actually have this. Oh, okay, this is bad. Ah, uh, he had, he had a shield. Had a shield in front of him. Aha! Uh -huh. Where did she go? I don't know. Ah, she's invisible. She can, I forgot she can do invisibility. Aha! Uh -huh. Arcane Barrier, you cannot do things to me. But I can probably do things to you. Can I not? Oh, uh, they. I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention to your Sally. So they got it. Let's probably use the Tomo Destruction now. I think I used it. Yeah, it's on the reload now. Okay, got some life. Oh, okay, and my, my, my ally is gonna die soon. And I'm gonna be dead soon as well. Yeah. It, it doesn't go well when you have two ranged characters. One of uh, one of the players has no idea how to use theirs, and uh, we don't and they have a big guy with a shield that can tank. Not a good combo. Can I change my hero? I don't think I no, I do not. I'm not able to change my hero, which is kinda sad, so. Let's test this out. Okay, that roots things. Q. Arcane Ward. 
channelless beam that okay this actually drains life when I have rage okay, so I should remember that Remar, Tom destruction okay that was that was kind of bad Q for armor or resistance aha uh -huh, you missed me miss me uh, that was not the right place Ah, oh, damn it, they got it, they got it, they got it, everyone they got it. Uh, shift. No, I don't have enough rage yet. Ah, uh, come on, get the life, get the life, get the life! How do I have enough energy yet? I do not have enough energy. Man, energy is a lot harder to get. Uh, yeah, I need two pieces of energy. Yeah, that's that's the problem. No, we have no chance because... I don't think we have a chance. I don't know the, the game well enough to... Con to con yeah. And there's this problem as well. I'm, g I'm gonna do it solo. Screw that guy. I'm gonna do this solo and fight on my own. So, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, we have uh, one more guy. We do have one more guy, so we're, I'm not alone. I think. Uh, just maybe DFK character player. Uh, I'm gonna run away now. I mean, your base, eating your fish. I don't know what you f actually have here, honestly. I see he, he actually pushed me so that I couldn't wouldn't actually be able to do much. And casting that root, that's actually kind of a death sentence because it's easy, very, very, very slow to cast. Very slow to cast. Incredibly slow to cast. It's it's pointless. It's pointless. So um, yeah, you need good teammates for this game, and a three v three is actually better than two v two because in two v two you have no idea if you're actually gonna have a, a, a proper balance of at least one tank and one guy that can do damage. If we if I knew how to play better with my guy and the guy hadn't quit, maybe we would have had a chance, but no, we don't have chances. This this would be for the uh, play now of um, of battle, right? It's fine. It's like Bloodline Champions, but was yeah, Bloodline Champions, but a bit um, a bit blizzardified. Which is uh, the absolute death of creative. Like, this is Overwatch's main menu, people. God damn it. Why can't you make your own... Overwatch isn't successful because it looks like this. It's successful because it's made by Blizzard and has a bunch of marketing behind it. And at one point it was good. Yes, I'm saying that Overwatch is no longer good. It stopped being good when they removed the, uh, the idea that, hey, everybody can play with every character and have five of the same character in one match and have fun and replace it with well let's change the ultimates of all the characters so they'll be more balanced so we'll make an esport out of this game that used to be fun at first yeah uh still looking forward to playing overwatch in a free weekend again and hopefully do some things with may they're probably gonna nerf her too and do something horrible oh more money great oh weapons for jade cool uh not sure if i'm gonna be playing this again honestly i uh I played Bloodline Champions a bit when it came out, but I wasn't really all that interested in it on the long term, because no one actually played it. And maybe this game will have a better luck than Bloodline Champions did. It, it seems fine, I'm not seeing any problems with it. The matches are short, like the longest one still took a lot less than pretty much anything you'd see in, the, in Heroes of the Storm or Dota or League of Legends. Well, yeah, you do have Turbo Mode in Dota 2 now, but still, it's it's still longer than this. So I'm going to see you again soon with more shows, with well, everything we do on our channel every day, non-stop until the end of time, or until we get booted off YouTube again, for reasons that are not uh, within our control. So I'm going to see you again when I'm going to see you again, and have a good day. Bye-bye.